We're talking with one of the most fascinating and freshest faces, if that's a word, in the business these days, Jaquel Knight, one of the most sought after choreographers in the business. So Jaquel, we were saying, so you came up with that single ladies dance move. When you saw it go viral and that people from all around the world were emulating the dance, what is that like? I mean, that's a feeling I still cannot put into words to this day. You know, wherever I am in the world, whenever that record comes on, people still do the choreography. And not only a piece of it, they literally do it from the top to bottom. And I'm like, y'all know how hard and difficult that routine is. It is. It, that's the uh, thing. It they blows study me it. Away. How did you, what was the inspiration behind the choreography for that? Um, of course, that's the obvious inspiration, which was the Bob Fawlty Mexican Breakfast reference. But then for me, it was everything that I grew up on. You know, it was the marching band. It was moments of the feeling of being in your backyard with your grandparents and your family, you know, at the barbecues and the cookouts. Um, it's all those things, dancing with your friends in the street. It has moments and feelings of all of those things that we can relate to, which I think was really part of the success of it going so viral. Yeah, it, you know, it complemented the song, and that's why it was a success. Now, in October of this year, you've also worked with Megan Thee Stallion. Beautiful mm -hmm. performance on Saturday Night Live. That was the power of Thank using you. your gift in a political, political, I guess, way and a powerful way in dedicating it to black women, Breonna Taylor. Tell me what happened behind the scenes there. Um, I mean, as we know, this past few months have been heavy, especially on us people of color, black people. And the Breonna Taylor thing, I think, was one of the most heartbreaking um, moments of this summer. And just to see how that whole verdict played out and we still want justice for Brianna. You know, I felt compelled to, you know, we had to say something. We had to speak out. Megan has been wanting to, you know. We lost like our. The SNL stage was the perfect place to it do so. It was the perfect place for it. I know that you've done a lot to help other young choreographers in the business. You're using your platform to uplift. Tell me about your foundation and the charitable work that you've been doing. The Jaquel Knight Foundation, we launched at the top of everything with the pandemic, also in hand with the Dancers Relief Fund, giving grants to dancers across the country, from New York to Cali, back to Miami and Atlanta. Um, just being able to assist during these hard times. People don't understand that when all the live TV shows, all the festival gigs stopped, all the jobs stopped for dancers. Yeah. You know, and my heart was so broken. I was going on to hire 75 dancers for Coachella. Uh, but since Coachella didn't happen, those that month of work, you know, those dancers didn't get to see it. So it, I was so moved to, you know, this community during such a hard time. Well, I applaud that effort. I mean, to, to be at the successful level that you are now from Atlanta and being inspired by your youth there and moving on, it's tremendous to watch. That's why you are on the cover of Billboard magazine. I do have to ask you, everyone <laughs> loves a good dance-off. If you had to pick the most epic dance-off of the people you've worked with, who would you want to see in a dance-off? Would you want to see J-Lo and Beyonce in a dance-off? Would you want to see Cardi? <laughs> Give me, I'm about to get you fired from all your next gigs. So if you had to plan the ultimate dance-off, who would you put on the left and who would you I put mean, on the right? I think it's only necessary just to see, you know, the Houston girls go up. You know, I would love to see Miss Beyonce let Miss uh, go against Megan Thee Stallion. Oh. You know, I think. I think it's something about the H-Town energy, and they both going to bring it. They both going to show up and put on, you okay, know, so, so that would be so the new, awesome. they have verses where they have people <laughs> sing against each other. I, Jaquel has put it out there in the universe. His dream <laughs> dance-off is Beyonce on this side, <laughs> Megan the Stallion on the other. Okay, I'm going to up the ante. Jaquel, who wins? Said the smartest man in entertainment right now. Jaquel, <laughs> congratulations on being a fresh face and fighting for other choreographers. Thank you, thank you. As you said, if you 
get their checks, get the money that they've earned with their creativity. Yes. Thank you so much. And for more information on how you can help the Jaquel Knight Foundation, go to TamaronHallShow.com.